hey y'all it's paris and i'm back with another video so today i just wanted to share with you guys about um how to know when it's time to move because a lot of people like you know you want to quit or you want to you know step out on faith but you don't know for sure if it's time to move so let me just say this god is not gonna always come down from heaven and be like hey do this do that like you literally have to like just know his voice. You really have to, you know, be listening out, you know, for him to speak. And so I'll give you an, an example. So on May the 6th, right? On May the 6th, I quit my job. Shortly after I quit my job, um, I kind of felt like, you know, God wanted me to, you know, invest in myself and, you know, get my life life coaching certificate. I went ahead and did that. Shortly after that, I started sessions like just like that. So I'm doing that. I'm doing YouTube. And even though I'm doing what I love to do, I still felt like, you know, there's still more. Like I, I, I felt like, yeah, like, yes, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I'm walking in my purpose. But God, I still feel like there's more you want me to do. And so anyways, I still continued to you know to to walk into my purpose well anyways it wasn't until um yesterday it wasn't until yesterday i was watching some prophetic words and i'm not the type of person to like look for prophetic words but if it comes to me it comes to me and so um basically i was watching this video and the person was just talking about how you know if you've been in the wilderness um you know god is calling you out of that place and I just felt that God was speaking to me. Like I knew God was speaking to me. Number one, because I was in that situation. And number two, because I know his voice. And so when I felt like that's God speaking to me, you know, the, the person kept speaking and they kept speaking everything that I was going through. So that's, that's another reason how I knew it was God, because no one knows what you're going through but God and I guess the people who you who you tell the situation, you know, too. But I had not told anybody about my situation. The person speaking in this video does not know about my situation. That's how I knew that God was speaking through that person because everything that I was going through, that person was saying. Now, just because, just because someone is speaking everything that you're going through, it does not mean that it's God. Most of the time it is, but it does not mean. So you have to get confirmation. So anyways, this person, they're speaking everything. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay, God. So the feeling that I had was right. Like I knew that, yeah, you know, I'm a life coach now, but there's there's, there's still more that you want me to do. Like, I, I know you don't want me to stop here. So anyways, the person was talking about, you know, uh, it's time to get out of that. You know, it's time to get out of the wilderness. It's time to transition into, you know, uh, your promise into what, into what God has promised you. And so anyways, I took it as a sign that, you know, it's time to move. It's time to do more things. And so for some reason, for some reason, I got the nudge to start looking on Indeed. Now, keep in mind in my last video, I don't know which one it was, but in one of my videos, I talked about, um, you know, how I knew that God didn't, didn't want me to work. And for that moment, he did not want me to work. But for some reason, I kind of felt him saying, I need you to, you know, to, to, to look for this particular um, place. So anyways, um, I was confused and I was like, God, I thought you called me to be an entrepreneur. And so I was like, you know, God, I, I, I stepped out on faith. I, you know, um, I invested in myself. I did this. I did that. And I was like, now you're calling me back to you know, to look for a job. And I was like, I'm confused. I, I thought you wanted me to be an entrepreneur. And so he led me to look up what an entrepreneur is. And in my mind, I thought an entrepreneur is just someone basically who leaves their job and, you know, starts their own business. But there's entrepreneurs out there who have their business and still work a nine to five. And so, am I saying that God is calling me to a nine to five forever? No, I'm not saying that. But what I do know for right now, he wants me to have my business. He, he, he wants me to do what he wants me to do. And he wants me, 
you know, to work at a certain place right now because there are souls that, you know, God wants me to, to touch. There's people that God wants me to talk to. And so it's more than just, oh, God wants me to work now. No, it's, it's not about that. There are certain people that God wants me to speak to. And so that's why he told me it's time to get out of, it's, it's time to get out, of, get out of just doing what I'm doing now. Because yes, I'm doing sessions, you know, I'm talking to people, I'm encouraging people. Yes, I'm doing YouTube, I'm, I'm producing videos. But at the same time, I still kind of felt like God, like there, there's still more to this. Like it, 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 it has to be more to this. I know that you've called me to do more. And so anyways, when he, when he, um, when I felt like he was calling me to, you know, look on Indeed for some jobs, I had came across a job that someone was telling me about before I quit on May the 6th. And so I had applied to them and I never responded, even though they responded to me, but I never responded because I was like, you know, it's not, it's, it's, it's not it. It's not time. So anyways, that particular job was on Indeed in my area. And so I was like, let me just, you know, go ahead and apply again. You know, if, if, if they don't respond to me, that, that just means that, you know, it wasn't meant to be. And so anyways, I applied to that job. I applied to other jobs. And I'm just like praying, like, God, you lead me. You show me where you want me to go. And I told him, I was like, whatever job is not for me, block, bl block that opportunity. Block it because I don't want to be confused. And so when I tell you God always works things out perfectly, like perfectly, God always confirms and, and God is just a great God. So anyways, to just speed things up, I hope you guys are still with me, but just to speed things up. So I, um, so I did orientation today. I did orientation this morning and it was a zoom meeting me and maybe like three other women. We were on this zoom meeting and you know, we were doing a Q and a, and we were just asking about the job and what to do. God had already told me about the job because when before I left my job on May the 6th, the people who were already working there, they were telling me about the job. So I already knew. I, I really didn't have many questions because I already knew about the job. Basically, God had already gave God had already given me insight before I even got there. Okay? So stay with me. So, you know, the women are asking questions, you know, I'm asking a few questions here and there, but then, you know, with Zoom, Zoom, you know, only give you, you know, a, a certain amount of time. And so the host of, of the Zoom, you know, he was telling us that, you know, he's going to have to get off. And as soon as he said that the Zoom, the Zoom meeting, it just cut off, like it cut off in the midst of him talking. So I'm thinking like, what should I do? Like, should I wait for him to email me? Should I, you know, wait for, you know, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was like, what should I do, God? So anyways, this is where God comes in. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to step out on faith and I'm going to, um, uh, I'm, I'm going to call, call this dude on, on a zoom call again. And so I went to the link. And, um, I called the dude and he answered and he was still on. And so I'm looking for the other ladies to, you know, to come back. And it's just me and the host. And so he's like, well, he was like, he said, I don't know where everybody else is. He said, but I'm glad that you, you know, you, you came back to the meeting. And I told him, I was like, well, I wasn't sure if I should. And I, and I said, I, I didn't know if I needed to wait for you to email me or what. But he was like, yeah, it's just crazy that, you know, it just cut off while I was talking. So anyways, guys, no one ever called back into the Zoom. It was just me and the host. Me and the person who was, you know, basically, um, you know, trying to hire people. The um, the owner of the company. That, that's what I'm trying to say. So it was just me and the owner on Zoom. The other three ladies, they did not call back at all. So me and him are just sitting there talking and you know he starts explaining to me you know like is you know is there any more questions that you have and i said no not really and so um i told him i said you know uh this particular person had already told me about the job and so he was like oh he said so you already got a 
he said you already got a foot in the door already and i said yeah i do so anyways um he uh he told me that there's some training that i needed to you know get done if i wanted to you know go through and um you know with the job and so he went ahead and, and he sent the trainers to me and he was like, you know, go ahead and, you know, get it done. Therefore, you know, I can go ahead and put it in your file. And he said, you know, you won't have to wait like the other people will. So I realized that basically God had did that intentionally. He let the Zoom cut off because he knew that I was going to call back. He knew that I was going to call back on that Zoom meeting. And it was just me and the owner. God allowed me to be a step up. God allowed me to already um, have the training that I needed ahead of time. He allowed me to get the information I needed before everybody else. Is that not grace? Is that not grace? Is that not favor? Like that's nothing but God. Not only that, so while I'm, you know, while I'm believing that, you know, God is, you know, transitioning me into, you know, from working as a life coach to working as a life coach and, you know, about to take on another job, I'm still, even though I'm, I'm believing that, you know, God is, you know, telling me to do this, I'm still a little weary, still a little weary because I'm like, God, I know this is you, but I don't want to, you know, do this because I was getting used to you know, um, you know, working for myself. So anyways, as I'm thinking about this, I get a notification. And one of the people that I follow on YouTube, they made a video and basically there was like, if you're still thinking about that particular situation, here's confirmation that God wants you to continue. I knew for a fact, just by reading the title, I knew for a fact that was God. And then I watched it and I knew for a fact that was God confirming to me to, to keep going. Because even though, yes, I believe that that was God saying, you know, it's time to get out of, the, out of the wilderness. It's time, you know, to do something new. I was still kind of feeling, feeling weary because I'm like, God, I, I hope I'm doing the right decision. Like, I feel that it's you, but I was second, second guessing myself. So anyways, God gave me confirmation. And then on top of that, he gave me another confirmation. So I was just like, you know what, God, let me stop doubting myself. Let me stop, stop doubting you. I know this is you. I knew this was you the first time when I heard the video. So anyways, basically, basically, y'all, I don't know, I already got another job already. And guess what? How I know it's God, before I quit, on May the 6th, I, I keep bringing it back up, but before I quit my job on May the 6th, I had already written down in my journal that the next job that I got, it was going to be a certain amount of money an hour. When the, when the owner spoke on how much the pay, the, the pay rate was, when he said those numbers, I said that ain't nothing but God because he didn't even have to say what was in my journal. He didn't have to. So I know that it's God because I already knew I was not going to take another job, especially if they're trying to pay me lower than what I've already been making. Or if they're trying to pay me exactly what I've already made in the past, I was like, I'm not going to take that job. I have to go up. God, if, if God is telling you to go somewhere, he's going to take you somewhere where, you know, he's promoting you to where, you know, you're making more money than you did before. You're doing more than you did before. There's more people that God wants you to, uh, to reach. So it's more and more. And I kept like, every time I read the Bible, I kept seeing the word abundant, abundant, abundant. And so that's what God is doing he is literally giving us the abundant, the, the abundance of everything. So whatever that means to you, God is giving you double. He's giving you triple things that you've never seen before. Money that you've never seen before. The amount that you've never seen before. God is giving it to you in this season. In this season, he's giving it to you. So I hope and I pray that this touches someone. Um... Like, I, I, I really do. I hope and I pray that this is touching someone because, like, 
I was worried before, but God, he, he's a good God. He's a good God. He takes care of his people. If you keep believing, if you keep trusting in God, and there may be someone out there, you've been trusting in God for a job. You've been trusting in God for a job and nothing has came. Like you've already quit your job. You've already quit your job and nothing has came. Guess what? Something is coming for you and it's going to be I don't know who, the, who this is for, but it's going to be something that you've already came across. So that's what happened to me. It was something that I, that I, that I had already applied to. So don't put a box or don't put God in a box. You don't know how your blessing is going to come. Believe God, trust him, and he's going to provide for you. I promise, guys. He's going to provide. All right. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.